So quick demo of uh, our Git integration. So what I wanted to do is just show you what I have here is I have one dev cluster uh, with, for instance, a given live board. And you notice that I have another pod cluster right there, different URL that has the same live board there. So what I want to do is I want to Git, I want to use Git for doing things like um, um, version control, reverts, uh, deployment uh, type use cases, right? So exactly uh, the same live board in the two places, right? So what I'm going to do now is what you'll notice is I have also a Git uh, repository and I have one dev branch and the dev branch is going to be linked to my dev cluster. I have nothing in that uh, uh, repository so far and I have one main branch, same thing, I have nothing in that cluster, in that repository, but I'm also linking that to the prod cluster. So what I'm going to do now is you'll notice that in my dev cluster now we have these version control endpoints I can go and create configurations between Git and ThoughtSpot clusters. Uh, I can do things like committing uh, objects, rev doing reverts, doing deploys, things like that, right? So what I actually want to do is I'm going to go and take this live board, for instance. So this guy that you see here, uh, and I'm going to commit it to uh, GitHub. And that's what you see uh, in there, right? Like that's this actual live board right there. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I have a new live board that I want to push from dev to prod. And same thing, this actual object here is going to get pushed uh, to GitHub, right? I can go and I can add more and more objects uh, as I see fit. So if you go, for instance, you can add live board answers, tables, worksheets, all that stuff can be done uh, fairly easily, right? I'm not going to add that here. What I'm going to do is going to say, I'm going to go and commit first versions of the live boards to GitHub, right? So I'm going to try that, run it directly. And you see again the version of the uh, API being run. And now what I see is if I go into GitHub, I will be able to go and uh, see in my dev branch, I've actually gone and created this object where I can see first version of Lightboard, right? So now I can actually go into the TML and I can see all the TML in GitHub. So I can keep doing things like this. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go in my first Lightboard and I'm going to start to improve it. So I'm just going to very quickly uh, do things like adding tab um, and just go and actually um, break down a little bit of information that I have and just take, for instance, uh, this, move it to my detail view and this, move it to my detail view as well. All right, and then save that. Now I have my CXO live board when I have high level information and low level information in here. It's as easy as that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the exact same API call and resubmit this. All I want to change is here, adding tabs to CXO live board. All right, and then just go and commit that again. And so what you see now is that as I go through this, what I'm going to see if I refresh my dev branch is we haven't changed this first live board because nothing has changed there, but my CXO live board has changed, right? So if I go into, uh, for instance, my commit history and I take a look at this uh, last history, you'll see, we see that on the CXO live board, I've added tabs and I've moved a few things around, right? Like you can see that I removed a few vases, but I've actually redimensioned them and put them somewhere else. So we're gonna stop here. What I wanna do next is I actually am happy with what I have. So what I want to do is I want to do a pull request. Dev has nothing right now, right? Like, but I have content in uh, in main. Uh, there's nothing, but I have content in dev that I wanna to push to main. So I'm gonna do a pull request. Adding a new live board and import and tab addition to the exo live board. All right, is what I'm actually gonna pull into main and I'm gonna go, uh, it should be all good, merge pull requests, okay. So now if I go into my main branch, I now have these objects directly there. And what I'm gonna do is on my pod cluster, again, I have the old version of that particular CXO live board and I don't have that new live board. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and use the deploy and I'm gonna take the deploy and just actually go and uh, I don't need any of these. Uh, and I'm just gonna go and actually run that.
and what you'll see is that we're actually going and we're telling you, hey, like we've updated CX Live Board and we've added this new Live Board. So if I go now in my prod cluster, I have a way uh, to go and I just go and very quickly see. I have this new Live Board that's there, that's been added uh, directly in my prod cluster. And I have a CXO Live Board that has been updated uh, very easily, right? So that's really a way uh, to very quickly go and do uh, things like lifecycle management uh, in um, in Fastpod with Forget API that we have.